Hello everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you the repent tutorial for this figure and the problems I've encountered. Studio Series Soundwave from Bumblebee Movie Version The reason I chose this figure is because it is easy to disassemble. The more parts I can take apart, the easier it is for me to paint. To prevent the screws from getting lost, I will lock them back in the same place where I remove them. It also makes it convenient for me to hold while airbrushing. I will inspect each part one by one. What do I check for? First, leftover gate. Gate is the opening in the mold through which the molten plastic is injected into the final part. The gate was not properly handled. From here, I will use a hobby knife to cut it off and then sand it until smooth. The next problem I encountered, mismatch. This is the problem I encounter every time and it is also the one I dislike the most. You can see a seam from here. Even if you use a Corby knife to cut it off, you will remain here. The seam is the result of the parting line the location where the two half of the mold meet. A slight mismatch in the mold will leave a right seam. I will use Bedwood Super Glue from Taiwan. Apply a drop on its mismatched part. And let it dry for a few minutes before sanding. Use primer to double check. Check to see if there are any areas that haven't been sent properly. Third, Penalize Accentuation. These are the tools I usually use for engraving. Engraving is easier for us to do penaline. After finish engraving, do not forget to use the hobby knife to remove the silk beside. Let me show you an example. The result with and without engraving. From here, you can see the difference with and without engraving. Without engraving, the panel lines are easier to remove. I also bought an upgrade part for it. Every time I see these holes, it bothers me. I will use epoxy body to fill them, but it will take me some time because I have to wait for it to harden before sanding. After completing these steps, it's time to start airbrushing. This time, I will use some simple shutting techniques. Finish apply primer, I will apply dark color at each edge. And then main color. Main color match with white to make it light and apply at the middle part. Then I will masking each part and apply other colors on it. Masking really takes a lot of time and effort. This is the most therapeutic part. But remember to slowly peel off the masking tip.
If you do want to do masking, you can also use marker pen or acrylic color to draw on it. One of the benefits of panel lining is you can use Tamiya thinner to clean up the areas where you went over the lines without damaging the surface. Now I will assemble it and show you the finished model. if you all prefer this type of video or my previous simple and fast paced videos. Please let me know your feedback so that I can optimize and improve my video in future. That is for today. I hope you like it. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time. Bye bye.